I would like to tell you a little bit about is the so-called Red Man. We call him the Red Man, or Freud called him that, because of the most evocative image of the whole story. His name was Lanza. He was 29 years old. He came to Freud and stayed for about 10 months. As you can see here in the years 1907-1908. He came to Freud because he suffered from what we nowadays would call obsessive compulsive disorder. He had many different symptoms related to this. Freud wrote explicitly and very honestly, I believe, that he managed to gather just crumbs of insight. And the story was so complicated, the person was so complex and rich that he could just understand bits and pieces here. He writes also explicitly that the purpose of writing the case study is to explicate the clinical procedure. Until that moment, he's written enough about theory, now he wants to show us what it looks like in the real life. Freud had many different important conclusions about the ambivalence that stands behind the obsessive symptoms and so on, and about aggression. So, in this very case, the red man was afraid, more or less all of the time, that something very bad would happen to any person he loved. The most bizarre detail of this is that he was afraid something very bad would happen to his father. Although he was clearly aware that his father was dead for two years at that moment. But still he was afraid something very bad, something very painful would happen to his dead father. Not that he believed in the afterworld reincarnations or something like that, but such, so, so deep and strong was his fear of danger for his loved ones. The discussion of the, of the sexual aspects is also a great part of this. First of all, Freud notes that as a child, Lanza was precociously aware of sexuality. When he was a small boy, when Freud wouldn't expect him to be interested in sexuality, he was aware of that. And then, when he was a young man, he visited a brothel at his first sexual encounter with a prostitute, and as he told Freud, this was his thought immediately after the orgasm. But this is wonderful. For this, one could murder one's father. So sexuality and enjoyment were so closely connected to murder and to murdering the father. Then there, there is, I don't know any one of us who are not born and raised in Germany can understand the level of blasphemy in this. But he was reading Goethe autobiography and masturbated. That should be the book of the German culture of the last 250 years. At one moment, as a young man, he is drafted and he has to join military for several months. And while there, surrounded by soldiers, he hears a horrible story like in the Orient, and we don't know where exactly, somewhere in the East. There is a form of torture of prisoners of war, so that you take a rat, you tie the prisoner, you put a rat on his back, on his bottom, then you take a metal barrel or something, put it above and start heating it. And as it gets hotter and hotter, the rat wants out. Metal is on all sides, the rat cannot go out, so it has to start eating the skin and flesh of the prisoner in order to get out on the other side. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea, but just hearing about it, was so traumatic for the patient that he started developing stronger and stronger symptoms 
of all sorts of obsessions or compulsions in order to somehow get rid of these images and ideas of danger and aggression. Unfortunately, the Red Man case is an unfinished treatment. After about 10 months, the patient stopped the treatment and Freud writes at the end that he probably, as many other young men, perished during the Great War. So we don't know what exactly happened to him, whether the treatment helped him, and so on and so on. 